Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Duck and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 together with the newest DLC, Rights of Man. We're playing on a very hard difficulty with Lucky Nation set to historical. Welcome back, we're just trying to get rid of our mercenaries, um, building up over there. Um, I do have 19,000 mercenaries over here, so I'll just try to sort of get rid of them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, come on. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, recall diplomat with Luxembourg. Our diplomats should never be idle. So, how about Nassau? Oh yeah. Okay. So now we got our trust up with these guys, and uh, which means also I can dissolve this alliance. Um, I, I just don't need those electors anymore, so um, I don't need those alliances. I'll just try to bring the trust up with these guys um, if I can, but I, I won't roll marry them anymore. And uh, yeah, we'll just stay out of it. Cessation of church functions? No, we're not going to go for that. We're going to lose papal influence though. I'll try to make something happen with the papal influence. What do we need? What do we need the most? Money maybe, 15% national tax modifier is pretty nice. Getting some Diplo rep is also pretty useful, especially if we wanna if we wanna go for this. I think I'll go for the Diplo rep. The money problems I can work around in some form or fashion. Diplo rep is hard to get though. So let's go for the Diplo rep here. And we're gonna Yeah, we're gonna decline that one. We're gonna decline that one. Okay. That's that's fine, I guess. Uh, we've got a bunch of troops standing around here, not doing anything, just waiting until they're um, until the morale gets high enough that I can actually move them around. So let's get rid of the Bohemian Guard and the Saxon Corps and the Feldsabacht. Let's just move move down here now. Join all these guys up. Oh right, yeah. I guess we're over force limit now. That's not good. So let's have the uh, mercenaries. I'm gonna let them go. Thanks for your services. So now we have 19,000. Yeah, we need 2,000 more. One, two. Let's do that. Mexico has a civil war. James I's continuous scheming and plotting has infuriated the nobles and made James some powerful enemies among the aristocracy. Really? So there's Mexico over here. These guys are independent from Scotland. I'm pretty sure they they used to be Scottish um, uh, Scottish uh, thingamajig, and uh, now they aren't. Interesting. The Dutch really did very well for themselves over here, controlling a huge amount of stuff. But uh, France also, uh, pretty uncontested, um, managed to get um, the French Antilles over here. Nice, actually. Why not? I would like to play a colonial game, maybe as France actually, but uh, if I were to play as France I would have to give myself some house rules, like not expanding outside the French region over here. That would have to be um, it, otherwise you just get too powerful if you already start with France and it's not no longer interesting. Okay, we're done improving with Baden, our truce with Ferrara has ended, that's a thing. Um, you're building up, which is fine. I might make Milan into a march. I might not, though. I might not, though. Teutonic Order really thinks they're better than me. They have a lot more development, though. Better Diplotech. These guys have better Diplotech. Relative power, 6.6. .6. Place relative on throne, that's another 6%. Why are these guys so happy? Placated ruler. And it didn't placate the ruler here nearly as much. So that's the long and the short of the matter. Yeah, I mean, we're getting a bunch of prestige. But I might not want to actually leave the prestige. Um, so there are 30 princes for this reform that I could take control of immediately. And there are some that are not willing to do it. Like Brandenburg. Basically, the bigger they are, the less willing they are to do this. So we'll definitely have to improve relations with Brandenburg. Um, that's for certain. Um, we're gonna improve relations with these guys. And what I want to do, um, I do want, and 
give myself some diplo rep policies. So let's go for that one. And let's go for that one. And then let's go for that one. And for that one. So we're going to have the maximum load of diplo rep that we can have. And now things should look different. Yeah, one more prince is willing to do it. Two more princes. Augsburg, Frankfurt, Austria, Switzerland, Ulm and Memmingen. So basically my old enemies are no longer willing to do it. Um, that's a bit of a shame. We'll try to improve relations with these guys. We could try to cajole them into things by maybe bestowing the Imperial Grace on them or stuff. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, change that one. Um, we do have a siege specialist on this army. No mercenaries in there. No mercenaries in here. So the only thing that I have to do is get rid of the mercenaries in this army. Um, so 14,000 mercenaries. How's my force limit? 201 of 242. Holy cow. I got a bunch of new force limit. Why? Oh yeah, I guess because of my policies. That must be it. Um, which would allow me to sort of build up my forces very easily. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4. No, that's 15 now. I don't need 15. I just need 14. And that's going to be fine then. Right. That's good. And then we'll be rid of all our mercenaries. Looking forward to it. I could even build one more of these armies. Which might not be a bad idea. Um, improving with Brandenburg. Brandenburg, I guess Brandenburg would, would be willing to do it now. Yeah, they would. <laughs> Austria wouldn't. Which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. Lithuania has been discovered building a spy network. Yeah, yeah, do that if you want to. Why not? I can live with that. Okay, so now we got all those troops over here. Merge, march them into Burgundy. And I do want to get rid of my mercenaries now. Goodbye. And finally, we are free of the mercenaries and gaining 44 per month now. That's good. What? How did that happen? Oh, I marched, I marched one of my armies in there. <laughs> I wonder why we had a double army in there. Suddenly. All of a sudden. Very odd. But I guess that's fine. Okay, so now what I want to do... Our influence over Aachen has expired. Yeah, why not? Um, I do think that I should um, sort of go after the other ones as well. Genoa is still pissy. Still pissed about uh, me going after them. There's still 80 relations to be improved over here. We're done with the Netherlands now though. And Ottomans have slandered the good name of our merchants. Oh well, if it makes you happy. It's not very effective, but you can do it. Let's give each of these armies one more unit of cannons, because that's going to give us the plus four siege bonus. I'm not sure if I want to go up to the to the 20 cannons each. It's very expensive to have cannons. Um, but if we were just one shy of getting the bonus, we might as well. Um, Ill news. Military leader has left us. General, General Sigmund von Zentner. I think that was one of our best general. Yeah, that's a shame. That's a damn shame, actually, losing that general. How's our army tradition right now? It's 54. We might not get another great leader like that. Oh well, we still have we still have one that can take over that that army. For now, it's fine. Um, now Nassau, we already have you at a high trust level. We still got these guys. They're still not there. These guys are nearly there. Um, you guys are nearly there. Um, recall the diplomat from Brandenburg. Now we do have to send a diplomat over here to Austria again. Um, well, these guys also need to be um, brought back into the fold. And then I have another free one. So let's try to get Ulm in there as well. I mean, if they, if they don't do it, I can just attack them and take them over. Uh, but I'd rather not incur the aggressive expansion that that will um, bring with it. Uh, 
Okay, with 62. 32 princes still for it. Switzerland, Ulm, Memmingen, Augsburg, Frankfurt. Oh, Frankfurt. Yeah, I've really been ignoring Frankfurt for quite a while. They are super annoyed with me. No improved relations whatsoever. We're done with Genoa. Um, can we do anything else? Because you're the leader of a coalition. I'd rather not have that. I tell you what. Well, I send you a gift. Let's do that. That brings you up to zero. And then maybe I can take on their foreign debt or something. Keep that coalition as small as possible. That's 700. No, you're not worth quite that much. We're gonna go for that one for the influence. Um, that's fine. Frankfurt, how are you looking? What can I do with you? I have no diplomats to send. Influence the nation. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. That's good. Um, and then Austria, we're gonna influence Austria for 100 ducats. I'm gonna influence these guys. Uh, foreign trade competition rises. Trade was heavily regulated during this era, but despite this, the markets were not fixed. At times, merchants would try to enter new markets or sell new goods. Merchants facing these conditions would usually demand new or higher tariffs to stop their competitors. I can gain three mercantilism and the burghers gain ten loyalty or can deny a new tariff. Gain some diplo power. No, no. Mercantilism is nice. Very nice, actually. Um, Ulm. Let's influence these guys. I want to have to to basically use every trick to get on their good side. We're already influencing them. We're influencing them. We're influencing them. I have to take on the foreign debt of Switzerland. That's going to help our relations quite a bit. How's the trust between us? Yeah, you're at 10 now, so let's bring that one up. And then we're going to get rid of that um, alliance. We broke our, our alliance with them. That's fine then. I do have to improve my relations with them a bit though, I think. Um, renewed alone. That's fine. How's it looking over here? How's our trust? Zero. Um, oh yeah, we lost that alliance. That's fine. We had nine over here as well, so we're getting close. Netherlands, how's it looking? I cannot influence them because they are great power. Just just um, picture that. We're going to be uh, getting a great power soon. The two princes against the reform, Ulm and Memmingen. <laughs> All the others are for it. So that's going to be amazing. What a huge payoff. Um, Ulm and Memmingen. Are we improving with Ulm? Yeah, we are. Ulm, Memmingen and Augsburg. Let's try to do something over here. I'll... I'll actually bestow the Imperial Grace on Ulm. And I'll bestow the Imperial Grace on Augsburg. Who else? Three princes, two princes. Switzerland and Memmingen. Memmingen, do you need Imperial Grace? Yeah, bestow the Imperial Grace on you. I'm also going to bestow it on Switzerland here. Renew the loan. Um, skills of the Empress Consort. Candela is a blessing. Ever since Candela arrived at court, she has taken a great interest in the administrative affairs of Bavaria. It has reached a point where the Empress Consort has become something of an authority on matters relating staff and running the castle, trusted not only by the Emperor himself, but by the nobility in general. Rarely has the Duchess seen such efficiency. Okay, minus 10% admin tech cost. That's very, very useful. Um, let's see, I really would like to get rid of that alliance as soon as possible basically only frankfurt now only frankfurt is not willing to do it so frankfurt what can we do with you we already took on their debt i'm going to bestow the imperial grace on them as well there's not, not much else that i can do there um how's it looking all princes are for the reform <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. I'm just gonna wait until Clevis, um, until we're able to break our lines with Clevis. I want them to uh, to trust us. That would be good. We're gonna get some colonial nations as well once we do that. Okay, so bring that up. Dissolve this alliance. Yeah, they're gonna be annoyed, but they're still willing to do this. Right, 38 princes are for the reform. Let's revoke the privilege. 
<laughs> Amazing. <laughs> In the year of our Lord, 1718, the most serene Augustus and the second von Wittelsbach, Romanorum Imperator, crowned by God, has again convened the estates of the Holy Roman Empire. The Diet has agreed to a motion to centralize foreign policy and warfare by having all member states submit to a direct vassalage under the Emperor. I'm going to demand oaths of loyalty. Um, I do have a bunch of um, vassals with high liberty desire now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, but at least uh, we can deal with that, I think. Um, Netherlands are still happy. A trade League of Friesland has been disbanded. Trade League of Lübeck has been disbanded. Um, countries wish to hire Condottieri, that's fine. Mainz, Styrian, Dutch. So, where is it? Let's just have a look at the Liberty Desire. So, Teutonic Order... Come on. I can't sort that by liberty desire for some reason. Why is mine so pissed? I could place um, relatives on all the thrones. That make my, might make my life a lot easier over time, actually. So, place a relative. I'm not sure. Might not be a good idea. How's that one looking? There are 38 princes for the reform. They're all for the reform. <laughs> so we can just wait and uh, actually bring back the empire in all its glory. Now, what I should have is Hungary as a personal union. Under Styria still. Okay. Why can't they still have Styria as a personal union when they are my vassal? That's odd. They should also lose their alliances. Poland no longer considers Bavaria as a rival. I guess we're too powerful now. Royal marriage offer from Ferrara. That's not gonna be a thing. Yeah, I'll be I'll be number second great power now. <laughs> Half of subjects development, twelve hundred. So uh, if you actually get there um, and take them, then we'll be the number one power in the world. Poland is no longer a rival. We have gained some colonialism causes belly. I guess because these are all now my vassals. Colony of the Netherlands, no. Truce with a bunch of people. Do I have colonies? English Brazil. Not sure. Why did I get those um, those CBs? Antilles are still at war. With Dutch Mexico down there. These are normal Dutch troops. Um, they are a disloyal vassal though, so that's a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, the Netherlands, I mean, they are a great power and they're still my vassal, so that's a bit of a problem. Both the Overlord and the Subject must be monarchies. I guess I have to placate them for now, get them away. Uh, I guess I do also have to build a bunch of troops. Yes, I do. Okay, so that's a thing. We're going to build... Well, we actually can't build anything right now. Maximum manpower. States in the Holy Roman Empire. Free cities in the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, we might actually not be as strong if we... If we sort of remove... Or if we sort of renovate um, the Empire. But it's definitely looking like a lot of fun. And I don't have any disloyal subjects anymore. I mean, I lost my prestige. But that's fine. And uh, now we have all these states <laughs> that we can send into wars if we wanted to and I might actually do that I'm really very tempted to just send them into France and kick their butts <laughs> maybe maybe um, production interface let's go for the standard army and let's build one in where should we build one yeah over here I guess Let's build one standard army over there. Oh, and we have a costly embargo, because Poland is no longer my rival. Okay then, Poland. I guess you are too insignificant to be my rival anymore. Revoke the embargo. Now, in terms of diplomatic relations... Oh yeah, I'm actually 
I have enough diplomatic relations to do other stuff. Um, for example, become a va uh, an ally of Muscovy. <laughs> nice. So let's get that one going. So now we're allied. Oh, they're allied with Sweden, but that's fine. Let's get a royal marriage going as well. We're in a very powerful position now. Um, this is a big vessel swarm. We're going to have a lot of vessels run in there. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> If we were to attack the Paper States, um, they wouldn't know what hit him. I think I'm I think I'm going to do that in the next episode. I would like to bring up my military strength, um, a little bit at least. We're just building a bunch of troops here. Line infantry will be built. What can I build in the lands of my vassals? That's odd. Really? Didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, I can actually. I did not know that was possible. Weird. I mean, it's fine. I'm not complaining. We're down to 4,000 manpower though. So if we were to start a war, I would actually appreciate it if I had a little bit more manpower before we go in there or we might just bleed out again. It's only 157k though. So our manpower isn't amazing actually. Bit of a shame. We can still build more of those troops. We can still build another one of those units. Our influence over the Palatinate has expired. No, no, we don't need the Palatinate anymore. We should also get a bunch of money here from our subjects. Um, yeah, we're getting 2.53 from the Netherlands. Yeah, it's looking good. Liberty Desire. I'm not sure why they don't all have a lot of um, Liberty Desire, because I wouldn't really be able to keep them down. But then I guess there must be a payoff for reforming the Holy Roman Empire. And I think that is it. <laughs> All these people are breaking their, their military alliances now and all that. You still have um, Hungary. There's no chance of you actually inheriting that. But I guess that's fine. Oh, they have 27.5% liberty desire. And one of our generals has died. That's a shame. But it's not a problem at all. Let's just go and recruit another general. And we're actually going to recruit a couple more. Okay, yeah. I'm going to kick you out because you're not good. Um, okay, so let's give you Engelbert Maximilian. And that army also needs a leader. You're going to get Meinhard von Pappenheim. I actually should go for another one here. You're fine, I guess. Yeah, actually pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, so I'm just going to wait until we get another 40,000 um, to park them over here into Thuringia, maybe. So that is the... Um, Hennegau is the name of Eno in German, so we're gonna call this Hennegau Core. So that's fine. And I think next episode I'll actually sick all my all my vassals on one of these guys that has earned it. I think we're gonna send them against uh, the Papal State, <laughs> retaking the lands that um, belonged to the Empire previously. Um, seems to me like a worthy goal, but we're basically basically where we wanted to go. I think I'm gonna go for the Renovatio Imperi. Um, it really does make sense, so we're gonna go for it. But for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series, if you want to see how it ends, then uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll also be playing Europe Universalis um, very soon, always on the channel, basically. It's going to be a staple of it. Um, so subscribe if you want to see more of that. I do hope that you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.